All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Makar Kudash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone that rule impeccably well. And Shalom to the Akim that's pushing this truth in sincerity throughout the four corners of the globe in the sincere hopes of being delivered in these last days. This is the Brother Yakanan from the GMS England branch. And this is going to be a brief video in reply to this situation that has, um, you know, manifested itself within the last few days concerning the rapper slash actor Ice Cube. All right. Now, um, you know, what's transpired is that you know, Ice Cube has taken to his Twitter account and he's basically acknowledged the fact that, you know, he's a Hebrew Israelite. And he's also acknowledged the fact that he's aware that you Negroes, Hispanics and Native Americans are indeed, you know, the children of Israel spoken of in the Bible. All right. Now, since then, you know, he's been going on a, you know, a rapid, you know, um, how can I say, a rapid spawn of, um, you know, post after post exposing, <laughs> you know, exposing, um, you know, America, you know, the so-called white man and his wickedness, you know, exposing, you know, particular you know, things that have transpired in American history, you know, and, um, you know, Freemasons, you know, everything here, as you can see, I, as I'm scrolling, you know, going in on Donald Trump, you know, all kinds of posts, you know, but what I, what I want to highlight and what I've noticed, you know, is that um, when you go into a lot of these articles that are reporting on this situation, you know, regarding Ice Cube. Let's take this one, for example, from The Independent. It says, Ice Cube condemned for sharing anti-Semitic memes and Russian propaganda on Twitter. All right? So this is one of many that, you know, completely ignore the fact that he's acknowledged that he's a Hebrew Israelite. All right? And completely ignores the fact that He's identified the Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans as the true children of Israel. All right. However, you know, they will happily put a screenshot of things concerning ancient Egypt. All right. And things concerning, you know, so called Zionism and the black cube of Saturn and things of that nature. But they will not, you know, put out there as a main feature, not yet anyway. <laughs> I'll say that. You know, the, the information regarding the Hebrew Israelites, you know, being the chosen of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. All right. That information, they haven't taken it up and made it, you know, the, the center point of the article. OK, but they'll happily, you know, as I said before, you know, make things like this the center of the article, because ultimately, you know, Esau Edom. All right. They don't want to highlight the fact that those Jews over there in the land of Israel who proclaim, you know, to be the, the, the real Jews are not the real Jews. And the real Jews are Unigos, Hispanics, and Native Americans, all right? They don't want that information out there, okay? So as a result, when you go into a lot of these articles, you know, it's not going to be talking, you know, about, you know, him being an Israelite. It's going to be talking about him being so-called anti-Semitic, which... You know, the elder opposed to heart done a video on that, you know, so for further edif edification, um, watch that video. Now, um, I went to um, DJ, or rather Vlad TV, and uh, he posted the, um, you know, the image I was looking for. Now, he posted many different images. He posted one of, um, you know, King David. He posted one of, uh, I believe it was a statue of Yahweh Shai. You know, the one who the world, you know, ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. You know, clearly depicting, you know, them as so-called black men, as they are. 
So I found this one, and this is what they haven't been reporting on. All right? It says here, Hebrew Israelites, slaves in ancient Egypt. And you can clearly see, you know, their so-called black men and uh, black women. All right. So, you know, this is one of the posts that they refuse to highlight. All right. And that's because this word of Yahweh Shim Yahweh Shai is out there on a very extreme level right now, all right? So they're trying to kill that vibration as much as they can. But that's not possible. And in the next scripture, we'll find out why. So this is Matthew 24, verse 14. And it says, And the kingdom, Slaki, let me start that again. And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations, and then shall the end come. All right, so that's what we're witnessing right now in these last days. This word has been preached throughout the four corners of the, of the globe via the mouthpiece of the Lord, Yahweh Hashem Yahushai, who is his men, all right, the prophets of Yahweh Hashem Yahushai that are on the highways and the byways, all right, namely, you know, the men of Great Millstone, you know, because we do have through the Spirit and through faith in Yahweh Hashem Yahushai 100% truth. All right. But you also have, you know, other groups out there that are also spreading the vibration of Israel. All right. Spreading the vibration of you Negroes, Hispanics and Native Americans being the chosen of the Lord. All right. Now read that again. And this gospel and this and this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations. And then the end shall come. All right. So that's how you know that we are in the end days, all right? Because beforehand, you know, you used to only be able to get this information from the prophets, all right? But now, you know, your favorite celebrities, your favorite rappers, your favorite, you know, actors, and now, you know, giving you snippets, you know, because that's all most of them have is snippets of the truth, all right? Because really, you know, the Lord is, is, is dealing with, you know, lowly men. Right, the Lord is not dealing with you know celebrities on a mass scale. You know, if the Lord wanted to deal with celebrities, you know, He would deal with celebrities, He'll give them the full doctrine and they would use their platform to push the truth. But that's not something that could happen, all right. And let's get into um Matthew 6 right quick, all right, because that's not something that can happen because you can't serve two masters, all right, as it tells you in the scriptures. When you, call, when you go into that entertainment world, all right, that's a whole different realm, all right? That's the realm of Esau Edom. And the Lord, Yahweh Shim Yahushai, has given, you know, Esau reign over that world, all right? He controls that for now, okay? That entertainment world is not of Yahweh Shim Yahushai. That's of the devil, okay? Now, um, this is Matthew 6, and... Um, I'll start, um, right, I'll start at verse 19, and it reads here, Lay not up for yourselves treasures upon earth, where moth and rust doth corrupt, and where thieves break through and steal. But lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven, where neither moth nor rust doth corrupt, and where thieves do not break through and steal. So that's basically going into, um, you know, the riches of this world, all right? Saving up your riches in this world because as the scriptures say, the fashion of this world fadeth away, all right? Passeth away. And that's going to happen real soon. So all those riches that you've gathered, you know, through the fame, and I'm mainly talking about these celebrities, you know, that come out and say, you know, that they're Israelites, you know, unless you really, you know, believe in Yahweh Hashem Yahushai and you repent of your ways and then you, you know, remove yourself, you know, from Esau's, you know, wicked system, then, you know, the Lord is, is not dealing with you, all right? Because you ain't coming out with the 100% truth. You ain't telling the people, you know, what the mark of the beast is, all right? Because, you know, more, more than likely he doesn't know, all right? Because I've seen that he was, um, he was basically retweeting, you know, particular things from IUIC. So that just proves that, you know, that's probably information he's not going to be savvy on, all right? He's not going to know. The Spirit hasn't revealed it unto him, okay? That's why it's very important that you come under the, the correct teachers, being the elders and the, the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, all right? Or you ain't going to have the 100% truth. 
And it says here, uh, for where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. All right. So what you value in this life, that's where your mind's going to be, man. And in, and in case of these, you know, celebrities, you know, these notable, you know, uh, uh, men and women that are well known, you know, for their, you know, talent, you know, whether it be, you know, through entertainment or, or whatever it is, you know, their treasure is going to be their money, you know, or their fame. Okay. And for them to, you know, reject, you know, that lifestyle would be very hard, not impossible, but, you know, very hard. All right. So time will tell, you know, what a lot of these guys are going to do. You know, you had uh, Kendrick Lamar, you know, basically, um, he came out, you know, a few years back and said he was an Israelite. But since that time, you know, we've heard nothing of him concerning the vibration of Israel. All right. So, you know, you're going to get these things, you know, happening, you know, where these people will come out, you know, because they're convicted in the spirit and they're Israelites. All right. So naturally they have that vibration, but then they find out that they're going to have to give up all that they got if they want to really be sincere. All right. So it says here, um, the light of the body is the eye. If therefore thine eye be single, thy whole body shall be full of light. But if thine eye be evil, thy whole body shall be full of darkness. If therefore the light that is in thee be darkness, how great is that darkness. Now this is the point I wanted to get in verse 24. No man can serve two masters. For either he will hate the one and love the other. All right. So you can't serve two masters. You can't serve Yahweh Shem Yahushai and also serve um, Esau Edom and, and Hollywood. Okay. It's just not possible. Then it tells you why. And love the other, or else he will hold to one and despise the other. Ye cannot serve God and mammon. So you got to let one go. All right. This is the scripture saying, Revelations you know, about being, um, about being hot and cold, you know, lukewarm, all right, so the Lord ain't dealing with anyone that's lukewarm, that's in the middle, you know, it's either you're hot or it's either you're cold, all right, you got to make your mind up, you can't, you know, have one foot in the truth and have another foot, you know, in the entertainment industry, okay, because it's a very, you know, very demonic industry and, you know, the higher you get, you know, in that world, you know, you got, you got your A-listers, you, you got your B-listers and whatnot. The higher you get in that world, you know, is the more demonic it gets, all right? And there's many, <laughs> uh, many, you know, examples of that, you know, as being a fact, okay? So I'll read that again. It says, no man can serve two masters, for either he will hate the one and love the other, or else he will hold to, to the one and despise the other. He cannot serve God and mammon, all right? You can't do that, all right? You got you got to pick a side, man. All right. Now this is um. Second Corinthians, um, chapter two. Second Corinthians, like uh, chapter thirteen, verse eight. For we can do nothing against the truth, but for the truth. All right. So you know, often time you have. You know, these celebrities come out and they'll say, you know, pieces of information that's on point. And, you know, we wonder if, you know, are they sincere? You know, are they going to stop what they're doing? Uh, you know, are they going to, you know, go on the highways and the byways? Well, you know, most likely not. You know, the scriptures say how hard it is for a rich man to enter into the kingdom of heaven. But however, you know, it doesn't matter what they do. All right. Because this is all the will of the heavenly father. How about Shimei All right. Now, when we, you know, check out, you know, how Yahweh Shimei Shai gets down, just to give you a quick example, all right, the Lord has had, you know, ask you come out with this information, and he has, what, 5.3 million, million followers, all right? So that's 5.3 million individuals that have now been exposed to the truth of Israel, you know, being um, Unigos, Hispanics, and Native Americans, all right? That's cold, all right? That's how the law gets down. Now, there might only be two individuals in that 5.3 million that actually need to be sealed, all right? Or there might be one or there might be none, all right? Who knows? Only Yahweh Shimei Shai knows. But just know, you know, that 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 is how this, that's how the Lord uses, you know, certain individuals in the world and certain, you know, avenues concerning, you know, the internet, you know, the unicorn in order to make this world flourish, man. All right. 
But primarily, he uses what? The men of Yehobah Shim Yahushai, Amos 3 and... Um, well, let me get it right quick. Uh, Amos chapter 3. And I believe it might be... Um, Verse 7 or 3 and 6, if I can remember. Right, so it's Amos chapter 3. And uh, yet, yeah, verse 7, it says, Surely the Lord power will do nothing, but he revealeth his secret unto his servants, the prophets. That's right. So that's the, the, way, the main way that this truth comes out, the primary way, is through the servants of Yahweh Shem Yahushai. All right? Because we have the secrets of the scriptures. All right, and like I said, you know, this guy, you know, I believe Ice Cube follows IUIC, or at least he shared, you know, uh, one of their videos or a few of their videos. So he's not going to be, you know, savvy to the information of the RFID chip being the mark of the beast. And he's not going to know the names of Yahweh, why Yahweh Shai, all right? The name of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, and his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly calls God and Jesus Christ. He ain't going to know that information. All right. If he follows IUIC. All right. So that's why it's so important to know who your teachers are. All right. That's why it's very, very important to know who the leaders are of Israel is in, these, in, in, in this last day, in these last days. All right. Starting with Elder Apostle Ha on down, you know, to the other elders, apostles and elders of Great Millstone. All right. Now, um, another scripture I wanted to get was, um, you know, concerning <laughs> how this um, Ice Cube is getting demonized, you know, in all of these um, articles and whatnot. Now, if we go to um, Isaiah 59 and verse 15, it reads, Yea, truth faileth, and he that departeth from evil maketh himself a prey. All right? And that's exactly... What you're seeing here, you know, with Ice Cube, all right? Ice Cube responds after being accused of sharing anti-Semitic memes on Twitter. Ice Cube condemned for sharing anti-Semitic memes and Russian propaganda on Twitter. Now he's being demonized, all right? You know, the other day he was just, you know, he was in a movie with Kevin Hart. You know, he was getting praised, but now... You know, as you can see, Esau is trying to tear him down, all right? And that's the same, you know, theme that we see when any, you know, source of information that, you know, might be true and is um, negative for Esau Edom, he's going to try and destroy you, all right? And that's exactly why the prophets of Yahweh Shem Shai are going to get heavily demonized in these last days because we represent the truth on the right-hand side of Yahweh Shem Shai. So I'll read that again, Isaiah 59 and 15. Yea, truth faileth, and he that departeth from evil maketh himself a prey. So when you depart from evil and you try and, you know, get right with Yahweh about Shim Shai, you try and find out the truth about the world and what, 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 what it really is, all right? You maketh yourself a prey, all right? You make yourself a target for Esau Edom, all right? Because you pose a threat to his new world order and what he wants to establish in these last days, all right? And that main threat, again, is really coming from the prophets. And it says here, and the Lord saw it, and it displeased him, and there was no judgment, all right? So, you know, with that, um, Lord willing, you know, this lesson was edifying. And, um, you know, these celebrities, you know, many of them are waking up. And really, you know, we've been saying it, you know, for a long time, you know, all of these celebrities, they know what time it is, man. All right. They know what time it is. They know who they are. You know, many of them are just silenced because they don't want this their 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 way of life to be disrupted. But in these last days, you know, especially as things, you know, flare up like they have been, you know, where everything was, was that's been happening of as of late, you know, you're gonna see a lot more than this, all right? You you had um, Anastasia, you know, she came out, she was an R and B singer, you know. Um, you know, you had Kendrick Lamar, you know, there's many other ones, man. So, you know, we'll see what, 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 what comes of this. But, you know, as I said before, you know, well, as the scripture says, you know, you can do nothing against the truth, but for the truth. All right. So with that, I'll say all praises, honor and glory unto Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, Bashem Kodash. 
and double honours to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone that rule impeccably well. And uh, shalom to all you brothers and sisters out there listening and learning. And until next time, I say shalom.